Paul, one of a record number of patients they've been seeing in Kings Mills A&E, injured cycling to work. It's uh, fractured me, uh, well, broke my ankle. A little bit painful, but uh, things are OK. Paul's in the right place, but not everyone is. I think what we want people to do is, um, if you've got a primary care problem, go to your GP, think, can this wait? Um, can, the, can I access the urgent care centres? Can I use a pharmacy? Simple things that will probably get better on their own. You probably don't need to be seen in the emergency department. Got about five patients in department waiting beds. Two have been waiting more than four hours. Five times a day, managers meet to look at the flow of patients through the hospital. It's getting tougher. We've got 90 patients who are medically safe on the medical pathway to be discharged today, but only 50 discharges are predicted. Some of the difficulties we're facing is staff shortages within our uh, adult social care partners and community partners. The Covid crisis has meant record waiting lists, and of course the virus hasn't gone away. This is the respiratory ward 44 at Kings Mill, where they're still seeing Covid patients. Haley's 35 weeks pregnant. She's not had the jab and has coronavirus. I was struggling with my breathing and being pregnant, you already, you know, you've got extra um, problems anyway as it is with breathing and things. So um, so that was hard. Um, I'm just about starting to get my taste back, which is good. Haley's now recovering, one of around 40 patients at Kings Mill in with COVID. They don't know how bad the coronavirus will be this winter. Rob Sissons, BBC East Midlands Today, Nottinghamshire.